Now that the frenzy surrounding Black Friday and Cyber Monday is over, it's time to calm down and finish your holiday shopping as wisely as possible. Here with advice on how to do that is CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. Good to see you. Good morning. Hi, Harry. There's uh, news out of Washington. Eric Holder says, and we talked about this a little bit yesterday mm -hmm. with our correspondent from CNET. You've got to watch out for these scams out there. There are some big ones. Yeah, there are some big ones. And as a result of a lot of counterfeit and bootleg websites that are out there that are peddling counterfeit and bootleg goods, the feds have now shut down 82 websites. And what's important for people to keep in mind is these are mostly lesser known websites. So if you stick to what you know this holiday mm -hmm. season, you go to those retailers that you've always shopped at, yeah. you're going to be in a good position. These websites in particular were based in China and they were selling yeah, phony, many of them international. phony knockoff stuff. Yeah, totally. all right. Let's go through a list of different kinds of things people can do to stay, uh, taste, stay smart this holiday yes. season with their money. And one of the things you really encourage folks to do is to read the Fine print. Yeah, read the fine print, and particularly when it comes to return policies, because a lot of companies are shortening their time span of how long you can have to buy and then return an item. Also, I've heard from a number of people who they, they find out about this restocking fee, and they think they mm. found out about it when they go back and they try and return something. There's an additional 15% or whatever that they have to right. pay. Well, make sure that you know that before you buy. Ask all the questions up front. Yeah. Now, if you missed uh, a Black Friday and Cyber Monday, there's another shopping <laughs> holiday coming up yes. called Free Shipping Day, December 17th. Yes. Important to keep in mind, about a thousand retailers right now are offering free shipping, but again, on December 17th, mm -hmm. but again, important to keep in mind that it might be free shipping to you, but it might not be free shipping on the way back. The right. return policies still apply, so pay attention. One of the other things you suggest is people really pay attention to how much money they have to spend and what's the best way to do that to make sure you don't spend money you don't have. Yeah, well make the list and not only make a list of what you're planning on giving to everyone overall, but make specifically a list of how much you plan to spend on every gift and stick to that. All right, and also, uh, you know, as these sh sales go by, some people in years past would say, I'm going to wait until two days before Christmas yeah. because I know the prices are going to go down even more. Will they? In some cases, they will, Harry. Uh, what, what we tend to see is that, yes, prices do, as you run up to Christmas, prices do tend to go down. The issue becomes selection and what's left out there. Also, if you wait till after Christmas, sometimes the deals get even better. And uh, are gift cards, what, what, what's your wisdom about gift cards? Gift cards, gift cards can be a really useful tool, and part of it is because of the fact that prices do tend to go down after Christmas. Right. So if you give a gift card, someone can get a less expensive. Also, a couple places to check out. BJ's and Costco usually offer gift cards at a discount for a number of retailers, spas, restaurants. So check with them because they offer discounted you gift cards. You always have good ideas <laughs> to save money. And what about credit card rebates? So a number of credit card companies offer rebates this time of year. Check with yours. I'm not telling you to go out and sign up for a new credit card. Right. Check with the credit card that you currently have mm -hmm. and sign up for any rebates that they offer at your favorite retailers this time of year because, for example, Bank of America and City do that, and if you sign up, you get extra points. You get the points. Might as well cash them in. Yeah. Rebecca Jarvis, <laughs> thank you so much.